Tushar Guha, sir, to please address the August gathering. Thank you, Vanita Mansukani, ma'am. My pranam to all of you. Obviously, I'm in a terrible nostalgic mode, very emotional, and therefore, I may not be able to follow all protocols. So I beg your pardon right from the beginning, because at this stage, at this, I am the only one who knows exactly 19 July 1963 every day till date, and I just recollect 19 July 1963 5 p.m. at Century Rayon Tennis Court in the old club, which is now a part of. Uh, the factory workshop, 200 odd parents and children come together. We play Eagle Beagle, we play Land and Pond, and we declare Senre Children's Club. As I started growing up, Children's Club also started growing up. It became Senre Junior Club because by that time I was 18 years old. And then when I was 20 years old, it became Youth Club. And by the time I was 25, it became Nityanjali. And uh, I remember my parents, my pranam to both my father and mother. Uh, then she R.P. Kediaji, she Panna Kediaji, then she Jidi Malpani ji. They were my support all the time. And she Srimati Sarla Bilda ji and uh, she B.K. Babu used to always call him C. Vasant Kumar Vildaji. With all of them, there was no monetary connection. There's only connection of the heart. And I do not know why, but they believed in me, trusted me. And I always even did not know what I was doing. I only loved doing what I had to do, what I felt like doing. And one thing led to the other. And when I look back in... 59 years that we complete this small Sendra Children's Club which became Nityanjali is a global organization. We are working across the globe and working in multiple fields. Every field that we can name and I find we are actually working everywhere. I would also like to pay uh, my respect to certain individuals who are not uh, directly connected to Nitanjali. For instance, uh, Mrs. Onima Roy, who was my principal of my school when I was a child from the age of two and a half till ten. Under her tutelage, I acted as Gautam Buddha when I was eight years old. And I received the Best Actor Award in Kolkata from Mahavadi Society and then uh, from Children's Little Theatre. I want to pay my respect to Guru Niren Sen of Bharati Nittakala Mandir of Kolkata, Pandit Uday Shankarji and Pandit Lachu Maharaji from whom I learned dance in Kolkata as well as in Mumbai. And uh, the philosophy of all these people got imbibed in me and therefore passed on to Nitanjali. And that is why they, these are not tangible but it matters to me a lot. It matters a lot to Nitanjali members because we all think like that. We all feel like that. We all work like that. Dr. Anunaguha referred in her speech that uh, today is a kind of thanksgiving, actually so. I'm forever grateful to millions of people who in some form, because I always believe Milton, they also serve, who stand and wait. And there are plenty of people who just stood by, may not be seen doing anything, but they matter to me. I knew they are there. Possibly I worked physically, mentally, but I always knew that we are there, there, and that's why you all are here. We have, in this August gathering, People from all walks of life, from all professions, and in all philosophies, we are together. 
Therefore, I acknowledge each one of you. I can see Mrs. Prema Jagnani and Mr. Babji Chaudhary from 1963 batch. It's so emotional because I don't meet them so regularly, but they are here today. I was 15, Prema Jagnani was 11 years old, and Babji Chaudhary was 8 years old. And they are all here. They have all grayed, and for me, there's no hair at all. But it's a wonderful thing that they are all here. Padmashri Dashmana Javedi ji, four decades of association, such a renowned personality, but I never felt she was so adoring towards me for every little thing that being a celebrity in, of international stature, that never came between us at all. And for every program of ours, you would always be present. And today also you have come. So very grateful. But you know, I miss Padnashi Damanti Joshi ji and Hima Devi ji. I do not know how many of you know Srimati Hima Devi. She was a renowned personality in theatre. She was in fact the guru of Alec Padamsi. She used to treat me as a godson and I used to call her my godmother. They made, they gave a lot of contribution uh, to us. I was uh, very publicity shy. I would not like to give any interview or not come out. But one day in 1996, she said, you know, it's any of us are blessed with something by God. We need to publicize because only when people know, then they come to you. Others will not come to you. So please come out. And I thought over it and I said, yes, she makes sense. And since then, I started coming out in public to talk. I was giving lectures and training that was different. But uh, suddenly I found that I was being covered by the press everywhere. And later on I realized she was then 80 years old. Elderly people have a lot of wisdom, a lot of foresight. And she told me that publicity may have its bad effects, but it's up to you how much you want to use, and I learned that. Then I have Dr. Sanjay Chahandi. You know, uh, he is the Chief Additional Secretary of Government of Maharashtra, an IS officer. In 1993, we got together, and the other day when I was talking to him, he said, Sir, you know, uh, I'm retiring. I said, how can you retire? He says, because you are also 75, sir, and I was that time in 93. So, so many years, obviously it is time for me to retire. And what I want to share with you, he was then the Joint Secretary. And you know, IS officers, okay, in such ranks, you would come down to Bhandu to do personality development course. And I have, I still remember an incident. You know, I make the sitting arrangements and my courses, they all sit on the floor and gradually they get into the chair with the corporate, you know, corporate etiquette. He was sitting and next to him there was another candidate who was a teacher in a primary school of a BMC. Okay? And I have the habit of not introducing anybody because I believe when you are studying, let's not know who am I. And this man would pat him on his shoulder. And he would, on the last day he got to know that he's the Joint Secretary of Education Government of Maharashtra and he was a primary school teacher. He said, maaf kara sir, maaf kara. And but it was so beautiful, the humility of uh, Dr. Sanjay Chahande came across there. What was the need for him to come and do the course? Because that course was subsequently going to be implemented through the Government of Maharashtra Education Department. See, he, he studied the course thoroughly. And it was so much of joy for me because I always say, honestly, our government officials are fantastic because I have worked with all government officials across India, not South, East, West, and I found every IS officer is amazing. They like to go deep into everything what is happening and then imbibe. And no doubt, our India is so great. Thank you, sir. And thank you for coming here today. I obviously remember late Mrs. Kumud Bansalji.
then the Secretary of Education, Government of Maharashtra, then Government of India. She was the one who forced me to write my first book, which became the approved reference book. I wrote it in English, Hindi and Marathi. I don't speak Marathi. I am able to write, but it's a very funny way. I used to have five experts in Marathi language, and each thing I would write, and they would correct that. It took me four months to write the book, but it was. And then we had the book in Gujarati. Mrs. Nilu Ben is here. She helped out with Sunanda Ben to have the Gujarati book. And they all were made as the approved reference book of uh, the government of India. Not only that, she is the one who pushed me and got me my doctorate in personality development from, from USA. You know, Indian universities don't have. So she spoke to all the universities, it is not possible. Then she searched the International University of Contemporary Studies in USA, and that's how I got a PhD without a guide. There are a lot of issues people usually find, how can you have? So I had questioned, I said, even Adam and Eve came first in the world. There must have been first doctorate in physics, first doctorate in chemistry. So obviously they wouldn't be able to have a technically guide. So I also don't have. Luckily for me, my book was approved and published in 1996. So in 1999, the university said, if you have your book published and gazetted, and it was gazetted. Lucky for me, by 2000, I got the doctorate. And it was her contribution that I became the first doctorate in the world on this subject. And that was her credit. And as if she would not have pushed, I would not be able to do it. I also remember Mr. Suresh Prabhu, then chairman of Saraswat Bank, and uh, Sri Nana Chudasama. They were so supportive for Confip 93. And I remember uh, Mr. Nana Chudasama saying this at the conference. He was the chief guest at Ravindranath Mandir. And I had 37 of Nitanjali volunteers. And he said it is a conference of personality development, and I see personalities all over. What a compliment it was from a person of his stature. Mrs. Rekha Vijayakar, ma'am, you joined us decades ago. You are an inspiration to Nitanjali, and I think you are an inspiration to every person that, who meets you. you know, an educationist and a social worker. In fact, uh, you have been categorized as E and S, that is education and social service. And I remember Mrs. H. N. Pal, principal of Sajja JJ Girls School, and Mr. M. P. Sharma, principal of GD Somani School. It's unbelievable how they support, supported me because personality development, no principal were prepared to give a zero period, you know, to, <laughs> otherwise you cannot teach personality development, because I even had people, how can you teach personality development? But there are ways, Dr. Sanjay Chahandran knows how we teach, and it is possible to have that. Uh, Mrs. Chandrakanta Pathak, principal of Global, uh, HVV Global Academy, she has always been such a part of us all the time, and I honestly am so grateful because the way she supported Nitanjali to assist Kala Gurats festival in 2008. If you remember, Brinda ma'am, we had the function in her school. And uh, she told, I wasn't even here, I was in Baroda, I think. And she called up Girish Dalvi and Anona ma'am. He said, of course, anything for Nitanjali at any given time. And therefore, since you are with Kala Gura, everything will be done. So this kind of support when we get, obviously, there are a lot of contentment and uh, the, our service becomes more and more effective. Madam Grace Pinto and Rohan sir. You know, it's so difficult. Uh, my equation with you is so emotional. Madam, I remember uh, your appreciation once in a crowd. Suddenly you come and say, you all only know to give and give and give. When later on I thought, I said, she just said this, and I was trying to you know, recollect. I said, yeah, there's so much of joy in giving. And that you noted such a small thing, which nobody even will bother. And that's why we love you so much. <laughs> Rohan, sir, your statement, I cannot forget. You may feel embarrassed. He says, everybody is not Nitanjali that who gives everything free. 
that when I heard, I said, oh my God. Then I started realizing, yes, we do things free. But because I was not, I do not consider it doing free. It is not money. We don't, may not be taking money in social service because social service is supposed to be that. But when you are giving, I also teach my students that you must learn to give, but you know you must also learn to take. Taking also, there has to be a lot of humility. When I am accepting, and it is here, Rohan sir, you come into the picture. Thank you so much for being with each one of us. I, Nitanjali, found a friend in Mr. Vikran Bhakta and Mrs. Priya Das Gupta during COVID. All of us know COVID, we had a lot of crisis. And how you stood by us, because uh, Nitanjali is an NGO, we do not take donations, we do not have grants, and we are able to function with so many things. Because we have sources of income through corporate trainings in some schools, I say some schools for life skills program, but majority of the schools, everything is free. And uh, both of you have been so strongly with us to go through and actually give my own faculty members a lot of energy that we can do it. They were taking trainings online. I know, I know all schools were teaching their school children online, but our faculties were teaching children of other schools online. It was such a beautiful thing for you. Then, uh, Madam Alka Vora, ma'am, Dr. Suresh Nair, sir, Lata Venkat, ma'am, Sima Sablog, ma'am, Vanita Mansukhi, ma'am, Mansukhani, ma'am, Reshma Hegde, ma'am, and Deepa Desai. You all are the spirit of education. You all are an integral part of Open Forum for Principles. And uh, you have believed in Nitanjali educational programs. You have implemented in educational programs. And not only that, I'd like to name that Alka ma'am, Seema ma'am, Lata ma'am, Vanita ma'am, Priya ma'am, and Deepa ma'am. All of you have even done the postgraduate diploma course in Nitanjali coming all the way from Bhandu. Then, Dr. Reshma Hegde, you went one step further to do your doctorate studies in Nitanjali, through Nitanjali. There are, it's, no principals need to come and do these courses. It shows your passion. Given these things are being taught to our children, I must also know as to what is being taught. And that's why my respect for you have increased 10 times. Dr. Suresh sir, you are an example of humility all the time. Anybody who meets you sees your humbleness and automatically get touched. Even today, you came in and first, he is a guest today. He says, what have I to do? Anything on the table or any uh, thing I need to add up? And uh, that's why all of you will leave it in my heart. The Times group, Monica Nathani, ma'am. I also remember Aditi Banerjee, ma'am. And uh, I think Divshika, ma'am, is here. There is uh, somebody else also from Times. Anybody else has come because uh, Monica, ma'am, has informed that you will be coming. She got held up in the meeting with the MD. That is why we are partners. Uh, faculty members, we are partners. For years together, ever since NI started in Mumbai and Pune, my faculty members are the faculty members for NI, that is, Newspaper in Education of Times of India. Thank you so much for gracing the occasion and thank you so much for believing in our programs. In the performing arts field, naturally, I have Padma Shri Darshana Zaveriji, I have Madam Swapna Kalpaji. Madam uh, Bhavna Shah and Sri Makaran Padhiji. Each one of you have come. You all are famous names in performing arts. And uh, for Makaranji, I would like to share something that uh, about few months back, we had a function at Ravindranatya Mandir. And that after that function, we, it was for paying tribute to Rataji.
Nitanjali was invited on the song Gagana Sadhana, our artist performed. And we did the dance in the Kathak style as well as to Tagore style mix. After we finished the show, I find this gentleman, I didn't know him, he comes and pays his respects to me. And he says, I, I was asked to go on the desk to address and all that. And then he introduces me, Makaran Pari. And you know who is he? Recently, Dharmvi picture has been released in Marathi uh, on uh, Anandi Ghaji. Huh. Now there, Bala Sahib Thakre's role he played. So we have the incarnation of Bala Sahib Thakre with us. Thank you for coming. And uh, it's really very, very touching. You and your and Mansi ji has come in. Thank you so much. You know, in performing arts, uh, we always say that we don't understand, but we feel. In Hindi, we don't understand. And in Bangla, that is what, why I said it in Bangla, because I have His Excellency Chiranji Sarkar sir present here. So that's why I used the Bangladesh. And uh, along with performing arts and social service, when I say performing arts, let's expand it a little bit more. We make it under fine arts. We have Brinda Mila Madam and Malati Kemavi Madam here. Uh, how we are connected to them. Dr. Anana Guha, Madam, is the dance curator of Kalagurats Festival from 2016, I think. And therefore, we became very active backstage management. Ritanjali is very good in event management. And therefore, the bonding started with them. And obviously, it started growing more and more. And uh, right now, I think, Brinda Ma'am has also expressed that uh, there's a project, which I was told by Anana Ma'am, there's a project that we want to take dance to the schools. And Nitanjali is associating, associating with them to teach dance in schools. Just like in Swapna Kalpa, Madam, your NCPA, with whom we are already connected over the last several years, we are already doing that. But you are school, I think we are going to even interiors of Maharashtra and to the privilege. This possibly. Uh, uh, this will be dance, music and drama, yours is only dance. So uh, in the performing arts, that is, and so I'm very, very grateful that you have uh, come here. Nitanjali has been, uh, is a, uh, this thing, uh, Gandharva Mahavidyalaya Center since 1982, one of the oldest centers in Mumbai. Mr. Vishras Jadav, uh, who is uh, the head of the Vashi wing, he is also here. And thank you so much, because at one time I used to be the Senate member of uh, Gandhava Mahavidala at Miraj. And uh, so therefore the association is very, very bonding uh, with me. From the uh, social side, we have also again uh, Rekha Ma'am and Amina Latif Ma'am. We have, we have been working with Rekha Ma'am for ADAPT, you know, what is called the uh, Spastic Society of India, formerly. We work with them, when all the autistic children are there, we work with them. Now, Amina Latif Ma'am has an uh, Jyotir Maya project, with which Nitanjali has a tie-up from this year. And uh, we are, the center is in Andheri. We are actually going to work, our faculty members will be working with them, all the handicapped children. I have Nilu Ben Metha and Rasila Ben Metha from Gogari Mahila Federation. Our relationship is over 30 years and never it is going to end, I think. And uh, recently, now after COVID, I had a session with some 500 ladies as to how to be positive, and the majority of them are homemakers, how to bring in joy. Of course, uh, during COVID, from 1st of April 2020, I was having online motivational lectures through the government of India to 
non-management people to encourage them to go to office, to go to the factory, <laughs> to educationists, to principals and the parents, uh, how one should not be frightened of COVID. And I used to say, you know, very jokingly, I don't believe in so much in palmistry. I used to say there is a line here which is called lifeline. See if it is long, so then don't worry. And COVID will come and go. But if it is short, be happy that you'll be up there quickly. And I always kept on saying, let's be happy. And when we are happy, nothing goes wrong with us. Maximum what can happen. Because we are frightened of the unknown. And that's why we are worried. And let's make the unknown known. Because then the doctors did not know what was COVID. So there was no point of asking anybody anything. And But we are all very panicky because everybody keeps on telling us it's dangerous and everything is going to get over. Unfortunately, all of us are here. Nothing happened to any of us. Okay, Because best thing is, all of us, why said us, we are all together. And Nitanjali is very positive and optimist. So obviously when you are connected with us, Somewhere or the other, you have to be optimistic. Others will not be associated with Nitanjali. <laughs> and uh, we've been very grateful to Agroha Samaj, to Jain Jagriti Samaj, to Rotary Club and Lions Club Internationals. Then for CSR, we have Asavari. Uh, Patankar from, I think, uh, LNT Welfare and Ulka Dhuri from Sipla Welfare. They have always been very, very supportive to all of us. Mr. Mahendra Kumar, I know he is from BPCL. He is the Chief General Manager of BPCL. So supportive because they are retiring. You know, these PSUs have retirement programs. So I have been often taking retirement programs with the husband and wife, how one should lead life after you retire. Honestly, I keep on saying don't retire at all. But when you have a job, you have no option but to retire. So the important thing is to keep getting occupied. Just now as I was sitting inside and with Grace Madam, she says, you know, people like you and me, because we continuously work, we don't fall ill and we are always active. And I said, I whispered to her, even if we fall ill, nobody should come to know. <laughs> because what happens is, then say, oh, this person is over. So therefore, important thing is to be active. And for men, for us, we need to learn this from the ladies of our home. Women are permanently active. You know, often I keep on saying, when the wife dies, the husband is helpless. But when the husband dies, a widow very strong, she can carry on for 30 years very peacefully. Not to say that they didn't love their husbands, but they are very strong. We men are very emotionally weak. It's very important to do our own work. And uh, <laughs> so this, Mr. Mahendra Kumar, he keeps on calling me for a retirement program. And says, I said, do this. And recently, we just did Swachhata uh, Abhyan of the Government of India. It just got over on the 15th. So we did uh, Pakwaras, we did uh, Street Plays, we did um, Prabhat Ferry, and uh, Children's Workshop, Ladies' Workshop. It's very, very hectic for uh, seven, uh, seven days that we actually continued. From NOV India Private Limited, I have. Uh, Mr. Sudipta Sengupta, Mr. Anand Narayan Swami, and Priti Kumari Madam. It's so beautiful that our initiative of our training, uh, this relationship, began, I think, in 2014, and it has become so strong now. I like to believe that any CSR comes, you just first think of Nitanjali. And that, I think, is our credibility. If the clients for social work, they're thinking that we must approach only Nitanjali. And one uh, comment Priti Kumari Madam made, you know, we have this, we are very systematic. So when the fund comes and uh, each say, toilet is being made, every different, different places the toilets are being made. And every Friday, um, 
PPT report is submitted. She said, you know, I and in the project goes on for three months. She says, first Friday was okay, second Friday was okay, third Friday was okay, but all Fridays the reports are coming. How can you be so updated? Because I believe when the funds come from there, it is not mine. And even if it is mine, I need to be accountable. And so we have been providing there is so much of transparency in our work. So all our members who work, honestly, I don't look into all these things at all. But when they work on that, so that's the something that has gone in. Thank you for trusting us so much, both of you. And then I have uh, all these companies like NTPC, BPCL, IOC, all of you have trusted because in the corporate, my longest association in corporate training is with HPCL, 20 years. Rosalina, madam, thank you for representing HPCL. At one time, you know, HPCL has MD, a Management Development Institute at Nigdi. At one time, that became my home. 15 days at a stretch, I used to stay month after month. Because trainings back to back, I used to take. And uh, all the 3,700 officers, I think I got to know each one by name. That's the kind of bonding. I used to have, it was a residential uh, training and it's compulsory for HPCL, everybody has to uh, come for this behavioral training. Uh, Dr. Vaishali Gode from Marico Limited, you have always been so supportive that you have come out of your way even to do all the courses in Nitanjali and have been supporting even Nitanjali Fest just like the State Bank of India is supporting us. I have uh, Mr. Devabrata Mohapatra, then uh, Mr. Ravi Sita Ramanji. Now, from the corporate world, the amount of trust, as I was sharing with both of you, uh, Mr. Devabrata Mahapatra is known to us from I do not know how many years, more than I think 25 years, when he was in NTPC. Then he was in Tata Power, now he's in LNT. And once uh, I think I wasn't very well or something, so Girish had told him, but for this program, sir needs to be there, but he will not be able to come. So much of confidence he had, he told, have the program, sir will be there. And I didn't know this, but I actually was there. And then how I got to know he said this, when at the, at the end of the program, usually uh, he as the head speaks. So that's the time he made that statement that I was sure sir will be here and sir is here. Ravi Sitaramanji is a, apart from GM uh, HR of Inventia and all that, he's a brilliant singer, trained, and he has been coming as a judge for our inter school competitions, you know, for Karnatak Sangeet, Hindustani Sangeet, and Light Sangeet. And it, it's, it's very funny, you know, you have a general manager of HR, he's coming and going in for ah, all that uh, stuff and actually judging the. Uh, children, thank you so much uh, because I, I believe we are all uh, multi-dimensional people, everybody. And we are all basically very multitasking. We can do multiple things and you are examples of this. Lastly, uh, before, okay, I, before I come to this, uh, the people like uh, Swadhina Patnaik, Madam, uh, from uh, Hindustan Copper, Mr. Adinat Bade, from USV, then uh, Vasanti Vaidya Madam from HPCL, all of you have come here today. It means a lot to us. And as I said in the beginning, that because I am emotional, I may not be able to follow protocol. So Your Excellency, pardon me, I am telling your name at the last, which I should have actually said in the beginning. Uh, we have His Excellency Chiranjeev Sarkar, the Deputy High Commissioner of Bangladesh, and also Madam Pooja Chavan, Madam, who is uh, the, from the consulate, so grateful that you have come. And he actually told me, I will not be speaking at all because I want to cherish this gathering. So thank you for being with us today. It means a lot to us. Thank you all of you again for being with us. And uh, I always say that when in personality development we talk about how I am going to equip. But I also say 
there should not be full, full stop after I. Let us make I to we. Only then personality development is complete. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen.